It's the Minnesota Twins taking on the New York Yankees. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. Starting on the mound in this one, Carlos Rodon. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand and because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike hitters commit to that pitch and before they know it they're swinging over the top of that curveball and now it's the switch hitting second baseman Willie Castro on the ground to the left and it goes just foul. towards left center judge snags it on the run all right let's take a look at the lineup this is a veteran led lineup right here a lot of players with plenty of experience singing yeah no doubt about that boog these guys have been around the game for a long time and they may not have the flash that they once did but They've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Judge getting an angle on it. Squeezes it, and that'll do it. We'll go to the bottom of the first, 0-0. Zero, zero. Back here with my pal Siggy, and today's starter, Bailey Over. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Swing and a foul straight back. And that one is lifted in the air. Kepler has a beat on it. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent, and sometimes in front of the opponent, and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. On its way to the corner. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. Lifted in the air, right field. Kepler under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. We played an inning. No score. Wow, wow. All set for the start of the inning. And now for the Twins, Byron Buxton. Byron Buxton. Rodon back to work. And there's a foul ball. Rodon, a former All Star. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. That one fouled off. The line of the pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Just missed. It's a good take. One ball. Two straight. Hard ground ball base now. So a man on base to start the inning. 
Everything came together for him. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Carlos Correa at the plate now as he chases after that one. Correa, the former first overall pick from Puerto Rico back in 2012, and he blossomed into the American League Rookie of the Year in 2015. Popped up left side under it. And there's one down. That is it. The first base. Number Kyle four. Farmer up to the plate Five. now. Five. He swings and misses at Go the first ball. pitch. 0-1. One one. Rodon ready. Here it comes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Going to now. And that's oh. just foul. Buxton, the base runner at first with one out. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Falls it in, two away. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Max Kepler at the plate. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck right field. Reaching for it. Makes the catch. Oh, man. Amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall. Didn't get afraid. Held on to the ball. And we're back. Bottom of the inning. And now the right fielder, Juan Soto. And he deals. That one close. Ruled a ball. Ball one. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Ooh, Rusty Valentine umpiring behind the plate in this one. He has what you might call a tall strike zone. Both at the letters and down below the knees. Yeah, and I'm sure that helps a lot of pitchers we see today who like to work up, down, trying to change eye levels and swing paths. Yep, exactly. Just missed. And yeah, the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And there's one down. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Jack Swing went around. It's 0 1. No score here in the second. in the air left field he's got it and there's two down Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate that misses and that is ball one Two out, space is empty. Two down, nobody on. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Yanks. New inning getting started, and now here's the veteran D.H., Carlos Santana. 
He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Got to be careful here. This is the type of hitter that can punish you, even with pitches outside the zone. Got him swinging. We'll take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter's going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. There's the strike. No ball. One strike. Top of the third. No score. Smoked in the left. Base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Not in time. He's safe. He was over that one. Turn on that inside pitch nicely and ripped it down the line to pick up two bases. That can be a tough pitch to keep fair, but his timing was great. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. One out, the runner at second. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Out to short. Volpe throws the first in time. The bat. The left field. Here's Manuel Margot. Grounded out his first time up. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. Runner at second. Two down. Swings through that one out in front that time. One strike. Fly ball down the line. And that is that. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And the batter now, DJ LeMayhew. Over, back to work. And a foul ball. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Got him. What out. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Buxton pulls it down, and there's two gone. Here's Jose Trevino. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. On the move. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. So the Yanks go in order. And we're still not at... Welcome back. And now on the mound to start the fourth, Garrett Cole. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. The 0-1. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. This looks like extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Verdugo quickly throws it in. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. Here's Byron Buxton. And he's already singled in this game. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. 
And here comes Carlos Correa. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Fall off foul. Kicks and fires. Strike two. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball double play. And that one is lifted in the air. Soto gets under it. Drops into the glove. Runner tags from third. And the Twins score first. It's one zip. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. And next for Minnesota, Kyle Farmer. 0 for 1 so far. Foul ball there. Buxton leads off first with one away. Up the middle and he knocks it down. And they get the out after the ricochet. Now here is Max Kepler. Flied to right his first time. Now this is in the air down the line. And that is a foul ball. Two outs. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. And that is that. Bottom four, here's Glaber Torres. Wind of the pitch. Found back our way, and that's out of play. Next offer in there for a strike. And it's 0 2. Well, this can be kind of frustrating for the hitting coach. Right now, this lineup seems to be swinging at everything. Wouldn't chase that time. pitch gets a piece there we'll do it again fouls it off still one and two now well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss he's gonna have to just change speeds a little bit try to move it around create just a little bit of illusion at the end fights that one away still one and two The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Struck him out looking. Well, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. Thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else and you can't pull the trigger. Verdugo in the box uh -oh. now. No One balls strike. and a strike. Oh. And there's a ball. One down, base is empty. Swing and a foul straight back. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little. Now a blast to left center. Way back there. On its way. Out of here. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Two 
outs, nobody on. Juan Soto down. He swings and fouls one off. Left hand hitter waits. A little out front there as he swings through it. Down the line. Kepler drifts towards it. Nabs it. And that ends the inning. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. All even at one apiece. You're watching Minnesota Twins baseball on the show north. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Clayton Beater. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Trevino on his way over. Can't get there. This one lands foul. Swings through that one for strike two. Movement in the Yankees pen. Luke Weaver up and loosening in the pen. Right-handed reliever. Popped up. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. And now the catcher comes up to him. Brian Jeffers doubled in his first A.B. Hit hard. That gets through. So now back to the top of the order. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there was just no one there to knock it down. This is Willie Castro. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Castro, 26 years old, and he was born in Puerto Rico. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. And the pitch. Swings and misses. And there's two down. Well, you rarely ever see three curveballs in a row because that's one of those pitches that's most effective when you haven't seen it recently. You might see three sliders in a row, but right there, he was feeling that curveball and figured he could finish with that pitch. And a foul ball. Stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. So much of good hitting is finding holes in the defense. That's why you're always thinking line drive into the gap. Those kinds of swings really boost your confidence. That's ripped. And this one could be extra bases. Headed for the plate. One runs in. Now the second run is in. It's 3-1. Waste no time there. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. So, runner at second, two down. Now the cleanup hitter for Minnesota, Byron Buxton. That one fouled off. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Man on second, two down. In for a strike. 0-2. Oh, okay. 
Swing and a miss. Struck him out. But they'll pick up a couple runs here. Both coming on this two-run double. And this is now a three-one ball game. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chami with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five. Giancarlo Stanton. Swing and a miss. Strike one. These hitters have been very aggressive early in the count, but when you're down, you might want to be a little more patient. Take some pitches. See if you can extend those at bats and get some base runners on. 0 oh, and 2 now. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Stays alive. The 0 2. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, I'd say he pretty much had to offer it that one. You don't want to leave it in the umpire's hands. Even though it ended up outside the zone, it still was close enough to where it looked like it could drop down right on that corner and get the call. Last thing you want to do is get punched out by the umpire knowing you could have at least fouled the pitch off and kept the at-bat going. And downstairs. You know, Boo, from time to time, players mix up their routine if things aren't going their way, and Rizzo is no exception. When he was in a slump in 2023, he changed his walk-up music to Taylor Swift. No bad blood there because it worked. He went four for four and hit his first home run in over a month. He even gave credit to Swift after the game. Sizes this one up. Hauls it in for the out. Two away. The batter. The third baseman. Now it's LeMahieu up to hit. Struck out looking his first time. And a strike there to LeMahieu. Right through there for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And they'll do it again. And a pitch. This one lifted in the air, left field. Margot makes the grab on the run. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Luke Weaver. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. That one ripped. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Oh, the throw is over his head. In there safely. Clearly, that was a solid double all the way. Nice swing of the bat right there, but that just can't happen on defense. Getting the ball back into the infield. You've got to make a decent throw your infielders can handle. Just gave him an extra 90 feet for free. So, man aboard. So, up next for Minnesota, Kyle Farmer. Ripped, but it curls foul. Runner at third, nobody out. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And that one hops the wall. In comes the run from third to add on. It's 4-1. And he's got a double. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Kepler, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Ground ball to the right side. Rizzo takes it to the bag. Now one gone at the top of the sixth. The and now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. On the ground right side. Sends it to first. Now two away as they get a run across. 
Ryan Jeffers now at the plate. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's got his second double of the game. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Banks off the wall. The run comes in to score from second. It's 6-1. And that's a double. Comes through with the RBI. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balance swing and a fraction of an inch different on the bat. And it is probably out of here. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Luis Heal. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging. Base hit, coming home. The throw in, but it's offline. He's in there. This offense is on fire. Three extra base hits in a row. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here's Back Royce Lewis. Lewis. Swing and a miss. No strike one. one. Back to the mound. It hit him. On the run, throw to first. Safe, and that's his third hit. That one got him pretty good, but perhaps the silver lining is that it got him in his non-throwing off, Chris. Yeah, assuming there's nothing broken in there, I think he should be able to shake this one off, but man, that can't feel good. He's gonna have a pretty nice bruise at the very least, that's for sure. Now the Minnesota cleanup hitter, Byron Buxton. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. In the air, right field. Base hit, and a run comes in. A couple of singles back-to-back. -back. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. Here's Carlos Correa. And first offering is fouled off. Rip towards third. The throw to first. And Correa retired. That well, we go bottom six. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. The pitch. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Lewis drifts towards it. Reaches over the wall. And he's got it. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. And here's the catcher, Jose Trevino. That one's in there. 0-1-1. One, one. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Next offering is in for a strike. The Yankees with a lot of ground to make up here in the bottom of the six. One and two. Going to count one and two. And down on strikes he goes. And now two gone. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Here's Glaber Torres. There's a strike. Got it by him for the K. One, two, three, go the Yankees. And we're back. Top of inning number seven. And now for the Twins, Kyle Farmer. Heel back to work. Swing, and that ball smashed out of line. Verdugo makes the grab, one down. And next for Minnesota, Max Kepler. Max Kepler. Right side, hard hit. He handles it himself, 
And two away to start the seventh. And now the Minnesota designated hitter, Carlos Santana. And a good eye there. Two down, nobody on. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Ground ball up the middle. Volpe on the run, sends it over to first. And the Twins go one, two, three. Nothing across. Back now as it'll be a pinch hitter to lead off. Austin Wells. Here it comes. Edge of the zone. Call the strike. Going around. Changing speeds has this lineup completely off balance in this one. We've seen a lot of missed time swings, and it's been a challenge for these hitters to get their rhythm right. Swing and a ball popped up. Correa is there. And it's caught for the out. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. So now a pinch hitter, Oswald Peraza. Looking to start something with one gone. Towards first, base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So a man aboard now with one away. Now around second, going for third. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. That one catches the zone, and that is strike one. Good eye right there. And one and two. A one-two count, all he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Up the middle. Correa yeah. over to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Well, a run comes across the score right there, but defensively, when you have a lead like this late in the ball game, you're counting outs. Nice job of simply just trading a run for an out. The Twins up big in this one. Here at the bottom of the seventh. No. And another ball. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Two strikes. It's a strikeout. One run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Twins eight and the Yankees two. Now Staying in the game on defense, Oswald Peraza. He'll be out center now after pinch hitting. Ian Hamilton gets the ball now. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team, and there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. And it's found away. Hamilton, in his second season, 28 years old, he joined the team as a free agent. And the righty deals. In the air, left side. Grisham trying to get there. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. So the batting order turns over, and here's the Twins leadoff guy, Willie Castro. In there at the knees, and it's 0-1. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Victor Gonzalez appears to be getting loose. Efros, a right-hander, loosening up as well. The 0-1. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. And it falls. 
So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. A couple of hits in a row for him here. You know what they say. He couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that. And certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. Manuel Margot up to the plate. Lined, and that's a base hit. Lead runner around second. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly excellent. Makes the grab for the second out. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Double steal. Swing and a miss. Out at the plate. He tries to steal home, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on two base hits. No errors. In Bottom eight. Welcome back as we've got a pinch hitter. Yorbit Vivas. The wide to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Up the middle, Castro gets it to first, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Here's DJ LeMayhew. Oh, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder, wow, really impressive. Well struck left field. That's got a chance. Caught just shy of the wall. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. And first offering is fouled off. Comes up empty. That's strike two. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Bounce to the left side. Correa. That ends the frame. Down in order, go to Yankee. And it's still 8-2. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Scott Efros. Now the cleanup hitter for Minnesota, Byron Buxton. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. its way through and the leadoff man aboard I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count too good of a pitch to hit right there you have to expand the zone keep that leadoff man off first base runner, runner on the goal hammers that one deep left field and forget it A gigantic blast. And they add on. It's 10 to 2. First pitch swinging, and he squared up the slider. He was ready for it. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Here's the first baseman, Kyle Farmer. This one in the air right field. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. 
No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. There are a lot of nicknames people have attached to hits like that. Blooper, flare, duck snort, lawn dart, etc. But whatever you want to call it, it's a knot. And those are the ones that will make you smile as a hitter just about every time. Two runs across in the inning here at the top of the ninth. Right-hander kicks deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. At the belt and fires. Got him looking. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Next is the DH. A switch hitter, Carlos Santana. That's towards center. Dominguez settles under this one. He's got it. And there are two down. Oh, he throws it away. Up next to the swing, the catcher. Man at first. So up next for Minnesota, Ryan Jeffers. And first offering is fouled off. Farmer leads off first with two down to the inning. Swing and a miss. Oh, Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Third out. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 10. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom nine. Here's the catcher, Jose Trevino. The right-hander back to work. Gets the call. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead in the count, at times pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. On the ground to short, Correa. Tosses across the first, and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Back to the top of the lineup. Glaber Torres up to hit. And a foul ball. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. This is something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. And a base hit. down. Now the left fielder Trent Grisham. First pitch and he just misses. The Yanks with a lot of ground to make up here in the last half of inning number nine. And there's a foul ball. And a big swing and a miss. One and two. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. And they're down to their last out. Jason Dominguez digs in now. Swing and a miss as he was out front. No ball. One strike. Foul ball. The Twins up big in this one. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Battling here as he fouls it away. Swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start, who knew? He'd throw a complete game and get the victory, but an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. 
you navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there, but ultimately it was an outstanding outing. 10 to the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.